In this After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to create a work cycle without using a single keyframe. Throughout the process, you will learn how to design and animate the complex characters in a simple and effective way. So, let's start. Okay, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we are going to create a work cycle for this character. Now, this character is a part of this scene we are going to animate. Character animations usually start with a strong rig. I highly suggest taking your time and carefully considering how you want to rig your character. A good rig is the foundation for a strong character animation. In my case, since I don't have much action for the character's hand, I'll go with a, I'll go with a simple parenting approach. However, I will need to design the legs, which I will do using the DK tool. Spending too much time designing a hand we don't use isn't the best idea. Now, let's hide these two layers because they are too white, making it difficult to focus on the character. Now, with that sorted, I see a gap between the neck and body. I will select the tie and head layers and I will move them down. Before I usually start the rigging section, I always try to turn the vector layers into a shape layers, as it gives us access to the shape modifiers. Now, right click on the layers and go to create and select create shapes from vector layers. Now, let's delete the illustrator layers. Now, let's start from the bottom layers. We will adjust the anchor points and we will parent the layers if it's necessary. Now, here's the front leg layer. I will leave it since I will design the entire leg in a minute. We have an extra layer in here, so let's delete it. For the foot, I will change the anchor point using the anchor point tool, it should rotate from this point. Now the same thing will happen for the back foot. Next is the crotch, I will set the anchor point somewhere around here. The front hand with the phone needs to be here. And the body and elbow needs to be a bit higher. We should also parent the hand to the elbow and we should use the color labeling to distinguish these two layers. Now the body will be red, just like the back hand, which obviously needs to rotate from here. The neck will rotate from down. And the head from here. The tie should be in the center and we need to parent it to the body. And I almost forgot to parent head to the neck and the neck to the body. Now, if we start moving the body, okay, we will still need to fix the hands. Let's quickly parent them. Everything looks good for the first part. Now let's jump to the designing the legs. Let's solo the legs for a moment. One important note, as an animator, when you receive an illustration scene, 95% of the time you will need to adjust it. Some illustrations aren't suitable for animation unless you make a few changes. In this case, some of the leg parts are skewed and the foot has proportion play to make it interesting, but it's not suitable for animation. So we'll need to create something similar to this design, and I will use the DK tool to do that. Speaking of the DK tool, it's made by Motion Design School, and if you are into motion design industry, you've probably heard of them. They are amazing, this tool was made with the help of DK K1, one of the legends in the character animation. The DK tool is similar to Limber or Rubber Hose if you have used it, but it offers automated walk cycle with around 10 presets, saving you enormous of hours. Now, to create the base limb, uh, I will type front and I will click on create. Now, another box will ask for the style of the limb, and I will select outline and taper for this style. And I'll show you why and how to get other styles. 
Now we need to adjust the length and the colors of the limb. So here's the limb. If we select the limb, we can now use the start and end layer to adjust our limb. So at the moment, let's hide the shoe. Now with the end layer selected, if we go towards the effects control tab, which is in here, we can change the length and other settings that is similar to rubber hose. I will decrease the length all the way down to 280 in order to get a straight leg. And also I will change the duration to minus 100 so it bends in the right way. And now on the right side we have DTS style panel. We will use the white color for our reference for the fill and the blue for the outline colors. We will set the width to 2 but now the caps are not matching. Well, to fix this issue, we'll navigate through the limb's content. Now, if we open the limb fill, everything happens in here. So we can open the limb fill, which is the baseline we have in here. Now I'm going to change its cap to butt cap. Now the same thing I need to do for the outlines, which I will do it. Now, as you see on the limb fill, we have a taper option in here, which I've chosen at the select the style tab. So instead of navigating all the panels, I can just change it in here. So as you see on the reference, the top part is a bit bigger compared to the bottom part of the limb. So we can change the end width to get this effect. Okay now, so here's the base limb of our leg. Now we will click on new style in here. Now this time, instead of doing the steps which I did uh, before, I will active the caps along with outlines to work faster. We will set the caps to flat and I will hit the exit. With that start and end controller, I will trim the end and the star value to get a rectangle around the reference. We'll need to change the outlines to 2 and also we need to adjust its color. To increase the borders, we'll increase the width. Now that it's done, we will need to only focus on creating this line on the sleeve. Now let's go back to the DK tool and again let's click on new style and we'll need to adjust the caps. I will use the trim path to fine tune it. Now, if I set it on 78%, it will not give me a good desired result. So I will change it to Let's bring back the shoe. I will move it and I will scale it down. I place the sleeves a bit higher than the limb because I, if I don't design an ankle, the shoe rotation creates a gap. Now let's change its color and parent the foot to the end controller. So as you see the foot doesn't bend with the limb yet. But the rig is correct, but we need to do a one more thing to make this rig perfect. Now back to the DK tool. If I select the limb and I will click on auto rotate in here, 
Now, this will create an invisible layer by parenting the foot to auto-rotate and the auto-rotate itself is an invisible layer that is parented to the end controller. So if I now parent the shoe to the uh, so now if I parent the shoe to the auto rotate controller, it basically gets connected to the end controller. And now when you rotate it, as you see the limb rotates along with it as well. Now this feature comes in handy if you want to create everything with keyframes. But for this video, we won't need it since the automatic walk cycle will disable this feature. So I will delete it. And now let's adjust the limb positions. We can also duplicate this limb. So we can go in here and click on duplicate the limb. And I will type back and by clicking on this update button I will change its name to back and let's also change its color and let's adjust it like the front limb Now, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please hit that like button and leave your opinion in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe for more cool videos. Now we are ready for the last step, the automated walk cycle. So let's start. We'll go to the animate section to create an automated walk cycle. First, we need to create a controller for our rig. I will click on the plus icon and I will name it walk cycle. Now back in DK tool on the right side we have this character with some pins attached to it. We need to select each related part of our design and click on this pin to link them to the controller. Now I will start with the back start limb and I will link it. Now I can see that the parenting changed to the controller. Now I will do this quickly for the rest of the parts. Remember, you only need to pin the parts you need. If you didn't design the hands, you don't need to link them to the controller. Alright, now if I go to the gallery presets and I will select the woman walk cycle for this character. Now we have a walk cycle, but we need to use the controller to fine tune it. Right now the expressions are not quite right. So now if I go to the legs controller, the first one is the legs X position offset, which you can offset the legs, also with the hips, and also you can change the step height or the width to make it to make the legs closer to each other. Now if we navigate through the advanced tab, we can change the offset a bit to make the legs closer to each other. However, I can still grab the start and the end limb controller and adjust that without ruining the animation. Okay, so now the walk cycle is way better, but something to mention, on common controller, we have something called all walk cycle all speed, which right now is set on 150%. Now it basically means that if 100% is 1 second, then 150% is 1.5 seconds. So to make a loop, we need to set the walk cycle on 3 seconds. Also, don't be afraid to use the other settings. For example, you can now play with body controller for the rotation of the head or etc. Now we can manually adjust the parts that we didn't break to the controller. So for example, 
I will just rotate the phone a bit in here and I will set a keyframe for it. And one of the cool features about the DK tool is that the Sys tab, which has few expressions that can help you along the way. So for example, I will select the ping pong loop for this layer. So the rotation will go back and forth without replicating the keyframes. Now I still think we need to adjust the legs. So I'll select them and I will push them towards the middle. Now, if we rebuild the background, one thing we can do is that we can active the walk cycle toggle. So if we select everything, I will move the character in here. And now if I scroll down to here, as you see, we have a walking toggle option in here. Now I just need to increase the composition duration, which I'm going to change it to 50 seconds. And let's quickly change our workspace so I can increase the layers time. So here's the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave out a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to leave a comment to help me for better videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Have fun.